I'm Chris. And I'm Bruce. Um, and we're sheep and beef farmers sort of just north of Levin. Um, and for the last few years, I guess, we, we've started progressively fencing off waterways around the farm. But then it's sort of grown, hasn't it? It's, it's grown and we've sort of been looking at different pieces of ground that um, would help us by being fenced off through stock management and also um, to try and improve the water quality on, on certain areas. We've both um, liked streams, I guess. We've both been um, keen fly fishermen, trout, trout fishermen. And um, a few years ago I finished my teaching degree and as part of that I did some environmental papers with Mike Joy at Massey. So I found out all about native fish from him because he's a native fish nut. And um, then I also had a science teacher's fellowship where I went and worked for six months in the freshwater ecology unit at Massey. So I got quite keen on native fish and, and wanting to protect them, but it, it all came back to funding really, didn't it? Yeah. Once we'd fenced off the wetland, we discovered that Horizons actually could do partnerships with farmers and they would provide half the funding for doing fencing and planting and then we gradually have been going through starting to fence off different parts of the property that we've identified as being what, interesting, sort of they've got native, maybe native bush as well as the stream going through them. On this particular farm when we get a lot of rain, where we're standing now will actually go under water. So we get a lot of stream bank erosion, which I'm hoping with this planting will slow that down. This, this last two years it's been an initiative, uh, uh, the government gave money for the Manawatu Rivers Accord, River Accord. So some of that's gone into fencing off um, streams for native fish habitat. So that's what this is about. Last year we did a couple of fences, this year we've done a couple more fences um, and they've paid for half of it. As sheep and beef farmers we, can't, well, we couldn't really afford to do it ourselves. If it wasn't for Horizons helping out with it, with the funding, there's no way that it would happen. Mm. So here we are, this is our first um, planting that we did about five years ago. Um, the main two reasons was that this is where we get our own personal water supply from and we were finding that they were getting a lot more sediment coming through into our um, water supply. Up round the corner from here that you can't see there's a really nice bush remnant um, with really some quite nice trees here now and rewa rewa and things like that in it used to be able to walk through it from one side to the other quite easily. Now, since we've fenced it off, can't go anywhere. It's an absolute jungle, seedlings regenerating everywhere. So it's been really successful fencing it off. We went to Horizons and they also discovered that we had swamp miry in, in amongst this area here, which is actually quite rare for this um, area. So they helped us out to do it. Um, we planted about 2,200 trees in here. We've had a few setbacks with neighbours sheep and, and hares and possums and things so we know what to do better down further to hopefully though we won't have those problems with, with other plantings. What we're getting here has probably also got us going into doing more. We can actually see, see some results. Any advice to other farmers is um, just, just do a bit at a time and don't try and stress yourselves out too much trying to do too much at once. Good place for the grandkids to go and play, isn't it? I mean, you know, yeah, that's what it's... the amenity value basically, as well as the um, the fish habitat. You're hopefully your the farm's going to be a nicer place to to be and to look at, and just a, a nice place to live around. Mm -hmm.